What's going on, family? Uh, it's uh, Marquise here, Apostle Marquise with Prophetic Sound Productions. Uh, listen, I want to bring some things to you guys real quick. Firstly, the Low Fro Challenge 2020. I want every male that sees this video, if you can, join in with me. Okay, Low Fro Challenge in celebration of Black History Month. Um, something that I was very passionate about, and I did this challenge last year in 2019, uh, and I want to make sure that I do it um, and include more people in it. So here's the thing. Uh, if you ever really look at old pictures or documentaries of, of people who were pioneers in the African-American community for civil rights and all those different things, W.E. Du Bois, uh, Frederick Douglass, um, any of those people, Martin Luther King, uh, all of those different people that were doing different things, George Washington Carver, um, they were manicured, they were well put together, but they were always in touch with their heritage and with their culture, and that is full, thick, curly hair. Um, and so one of the things that you see is you see like in a lot of those people, you see a low fro, right? Uh, except in Frederick Douglass, his fro was not exactly low. But the idea is uh, in honor of them, I am not cutting my hair. You know, they do the same thing for mustache uh, March and no shave November in honor of, you know, helping people or supporting people with testicular cancer. I want to do something similar to honor our uh, African-American uh, ancestors, our forefathers who paved the way for us to be able to enjoy the liberties that we have. And if you notice, a lot of them, they kept things neat, but it was still almost rugged. It was still authentic. It was true to the roots of their African heritage, even though it was well kempt and well uh, manicured, especially for the sake of uh, presenting excellence and fitting in socially um, in sort of a European uh, or uh, centrally dominated uh, area. And so what I'm doing to honor them, here's the rules. No haircuts, okay? No trimming. You can line things up. You can keep things neat. You can, you know, clean things up. So make sure that you keep your stuff clean. You know, we're not trying to be sloppy in honor of Black History Month, but the idea is letting it grow. So if you got a beard, let it grow thick. For those uh, fellas who already have long hair, um, no trims, you know, you're already well on your way, but definitely just post a picture of it and say low fro challenge or fro challenge. Um, and you can hashtag that. That's the hashtag uh, for the challenge. Low as an L-O fro F-R-O challenge. Low fro challenge or feb flow. Um, and don't worry, ladies, you can get in on this too. Um, if you want to just take a, a picture of your natural hair, maybe you have it perm, but uh, you want to do it up in one of the styles that, you know, some of our old female pioneers would do because they had permed hair too. They all weren't natural, uh, but do it in one of their styles uh, just to show whether it was Aretha Franklin um, or, uh, uh, you know, any uh, any of those, you know, some other ones. Uh, what's that? Um What's that singer's name? Y'all know who I'm talking about. Billie Holiday, all of those other different people um, who, you know, they had different styles and, and, you know, did all of those different things. And you want to do that too. Rosa Parks, uh, Coretta Scott King. Uh, you want to do one of those styles uh, in, in honor of them and put it up. That'd be awesome too. And listen, this is not just for African-Americans, my Caucasian, my Latina, and my um, uh, Middle Eastern brothers and sisters, my Asian or um, uh, South Pacific um, or even North Pacific uh, brothers and sisters, y'all can hop in on this too. Uh, same way you would do uh, No Shave November or Mustache March. Just let it grow. Keep it neat as much as you can. You know, you got to do stuff for work. I get all of those different things, but let it grow out. It might not be a fro, but you can grow that long hair uh, in honor of uh, Black History Month. And that's something that I'm passionate about. I believe that Black history is American history. It's not just history for black people, history for African Americans, but it's American history. Uh, and I think a lot of the issues would be solved if everybody took ownership of Black History Month, not just black people, not just African Americans, but we all learned about the many inventions, the many strides, not just for uh, people of color, but for society at large um, that was taken by African American pioneers. So that's the first challenge. Here's the next one for all of my musicians out there, right? Make some noise. Woo woo. For all of my musicians out there, producers, I am doing a exclusive challenge for you and anybody can hop on it. You might not play an instrument. You might make a joyful noise uh, unto the Lord rather than actually singing, but whatever the case is, right? You can hop in and anticipate uh, or participate in this, but I definitely want the musicians and producers and singers that I know out there to hop in on this, right? This is called the BNA challenge. B N A 
challenge. And that's the hashtag that we're going to use for that. BNA, what does that stand for? Black National Anthem. Okay. First and foremost, go learn the words because there's a whole lot of people out there that don't know the words to the Black National Anthem. So if you're going to sing it, make sure you sing in the right lyrics. Lord Jesus. Um, but the point is, I want you to do your own special rendition of the Black National Anthem. And here in a few days, I'm going to post mine. Uh, but definitely, if you beat me to the punch, go ahead and do it. I'm going to post it so that you get an idea of it. Um, it's uh, a original uh, rendition that I've made myself. I tracked it, uh, produced it, did all that stuff. And then I played the drums to it. Um, but if you just want to sing it or if you want to produce a version yourself, definitely put it up there. Tag me in it, okay? On Instagram on Facebook, on YouTube, wherever, hashtag me, tag me in it and let me know and I'll be reposting and resharing the um, ones that I think are the best. Um, and we're gonna be doing this throughout the entire month of February. So you'll see me posting pics um, and I'll hashtag low fro challenge and then you'll see me posting uh, clips of different renditions of the Black National Anthem. Um, and again, my Caucasian brothers and sisters, my Latino brothers and sisters, my Middle Eastern brothers and sisters, my South Pacific brothers and sisters, my Asian brothers and sisters, whatever you want to do, if you want to do that too, we absolutely welcome it. This is not just a black thing. This is an American thing. This is a human thing. So we want everybody to hop, hop in and jump in and do it. All right. Love y'all. God bless you is my prayer. Apostle Marquise with Prophetic Sound Productions signing out. Grace and peace.